Ciao everybody, my name is Enrico Santa Caterina and today I want to show you one way to use the MIDI function of the TuneMeister 36, the new MIDI tube amp by Yuxon Kettner. TM36 is a big boy of a family of three amps, TuneMeister 5 with 5 watts and 1 channel, TuneMeister 18 with 18 watts and 2 channels, and the TM36, of course, that shares 36 watts and 3 channels. These amps share the same tone range and some common feature like the power soak that allows to reduce the output level of the speaker without lowering the actual master level on the amp. This way we can crank the amp and get the natural compression for the power tubes that are EL84 without the hassle of being too loud. The M36 can work at 36 watts with all four power tubes at 18 watts with just two power tubes, at 5 watts, 1 watt or even 0 watts with the loudspeaker totally off. In this test you listen to a stereo recording. One channel is the onboard Red Box DI plugged directly into the console. The other channel is a Shure SM57 microphone right in front of the dedicated speaker. Yuxen Kettner the 1 per 12 um, cabinet is loaded with a Celestium Vinted 30 speaker. To do this test I needed a MIDI controller. So I choose the Boss GT100 pedal board that functions both as a MIDI control and as a multi-effect processor. Connection is very easy. I plug the guitar straight into the amp. You see? The MIDI out of the pedal board goes to the MIDI in of the amplifier and the audio in and out of the pedal board straight to the send return of the amplifier. With the two master 36 you can also switch on and off the send return via MIDI, engaging or not the multi-effects part of the GT100. With a pedal board like the GT100 we can take full advantage of the hundreds of effect level settings that we can store in patches together with channel switch of the amplifier. Even if connected in send return, all the functions of the GT100 such as tuner, looper, expression pedal, wah wah, are still perfectly working. In this first bank of four sound, I set up just a little delay effect that I store in four patches and that I assign just a switching channel in the 2 master 36. This first sound is just a clean channel. <laughs> Second patch, same effect but channel change to crunch. Third patch, again same effect but with the patch level reduced to 60% and the channel switch to lead. This way I have my rock sound at the rhythm level. Patch number four, I will go back to the same effect, full volume but stay on the lead channel to get my solo sound. Of course, depending on our need, we can set up and store up to 128 different combinations of effects, levels and channel changes in the amp. Next bank, I kept the same delay effect at the same level through all the four patches and I only set up different output levels with a power soak on the Tune Master 36. So this first sound is the clean channel at full 36 watts. And now the same sound but at 5 watts. Third patch.
catch is crunch channel at 36 watts. <laughs> Now the same channel but at 5 watts. Last I prepare a bank with four totally different sounds using multiple effects, channel switch and output power. First patch is a very clean sound, just a little reverb that I can use for a funky sound and maybe a little wah wah. Second patch is a very affected clean sound. In the third patch, I wanted to use GT100 Metal Zone pedal to recreate a heavy sound through the clean channel of the Two Master 36. <laughs> is a typical warm lead sound with long delay and the lead channel of the tube master. <laughs> As you see, we can get a large variety of sound combining the hundreds of effects provided by the Boss GT100 and channel output switching on the Tube Master 36. Uh, this system allows us to store up our favorite patches and preset sounds, but with the possibility to change it in real time any setting in the amp, without the need of editing the pedal board. This means we can fine tune our sounds in each channel of the amp maybe to adjust it to a different stage condition but maintaining all the you know the our preset level balances and effect settings i hope i could be of help with this video but before to leave let me say thank you to hughes and katner that provides me their amp for many many years and of course to roland italy that gives me the boss gt100 battleboard and this beautiful stratocaster g5 fender powered by roland that are using this video. Thank you and keep on rocking. <laughs>